<laughs> okay, anyway, you guys, so amongst all the things that happened, you know, between Ryonga oh, yeah. um, causing, calling. Congratulations, Madam Einstein Ambassador. Thank you. Thank you, thank thank you, you for very much. <laughs> we continue. Thank we continue, continue to serve the nation. <laughs> so I would say, <laughs> yes, there are many things that have happened, you know, between Ryonga calling somebody, Jesus, reincarnate, and I, I found this like story. That. Oh, well, Congratulations know, whatever he for said. Another day. Okay. <laughs> I found this really shocking story on on Facebook about a, a council, a, a law graduate in in uh, in Florida, who said um, she's glad slave trade happened because if it hadn't, she would be back in Africa worshiping a tree. <clears throat> She's an adult, yeah. She's black, and uh, yes, she's she's a she's black, black person, yes. And I'm obviously, the, the natural <laughs> inclination was for you know the, there was all there was Ugandans and, and black people from all over the place just sure, taking the her apart. The story mm-hmm. was in the comment yes. section. So taking the entire story apart, and obviously there was not many kind things said. It got me thinking about racial identity. Do we have any? Obviously, if we went and said for black people, it would just be too broad because uh, there are very many black people all over there the whose, whose identity is really American or yeah. whatever. But if we even brought it down to just Africa, do we have a racial identity? And, and like, what are, what are our feelings about this? Or do we even think about it at all as Africans? What's I, that I honestly do not feel like that's something um, a lot of people think about, especially because, well, in Africa, we are all like Black. it's not something you yeah. you think about. Even coming here to talk about this, it's probably not something that we have we had thought about before. It's yeah. usually in comparison to um, another race, or maybe yes. to either tribes or uh, white people understandably because know. race is race because distinctions are, are, are drawn <coughs> um, because of the differences because of difference. so obviously the comparison makes sense yeah but. so then to kind of try and unpack that yes. um, and there are things for example that people say about Africans or even Ugandans that you'd have to think about and say okay yeah that's true that's not true. I don't identify as that person. And or the things like Africans say about Or even themselves. the things we say about ourselves. <laughs> or like, um, I think we're very friendly. There's this thing, um, I keep reading online that in a certain part of this world, people don't look at each other in the eye. Out of respect or fear? As in like, or, or hostility? Allowed. Yeah, yeah, as in like, like, like not this, allowed? Like, as allowed as, okay, if you do it, no, not could allowed. <laughs> Like, like out of like, hostility or respect? Um, no, not just yes, respect. It's like it's like concept. it's like that, that thing where um, you shouldn't sit near me as in get your own space and, <laughs> and, and, and things like that. Can't yet sit in, near us. <laughs> yet, yet in, in in Uganda, like if I enter a taxi, there will be two persons, and I'm thinking, why why should I sit there alone? Okay, depending on, I'll go and maybe sit next to someone, someone. and and say, hey, morning, I'll sit by myself. And if someone does and say good morning, I'm thinking, eh, why? How did you? So is really? that is that? Yeah, it's like there's this thinking of pre money or like we be in people's business. Which we're all, all, we're we're all up in everyone's business. Yeah, which, which, which is kinda <laughs> different when you because I haven't lived with other races. Does that make us friendly? Because you said earlier that we are friendly. And and that that's what people say about us. Like by virtue of the fact that I'm in all up in your business, does that make me it's a, a sense of communalism, I guess. I guess yeah, because Co- I, I was really shocked that at one of the restaurants, when when people um celebrate their birthdays, they share cake. And I was like, <laughs> oh wow, this is I, I would miss this yeah. if I went away. From Usually much. we share a cake because there's because you've already made a spectacle of your birthday, like, and no, then, then everybody's I, looking I, over at your table, and I it's think just in some places. Impolite. In some places, aha, uh-huh, now you hear that like not. impolite, just like we, we 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 hold it very dear to ourselves that how can you pass someone? And not say hello. Yeah. Whereas there are other people who would be like, give me my space. Mm-hmm. So I, I, I feel like for Uganda, what you Africans, just described, that very last um, situation, is really Nairobi. <laughs> oh, I mean, serious? nobody, even when you even when like, you try like to ask the direction. So that's quite Ugandan. The, I think that's a Ugandan Yeah, so it, it's really uh, not an African it's a, identity, it's a Ugandan so to thing. speak. Although the, maybe the sense of community yes, yes, yes. is, 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 is African. Very, very yeah, very but the, when you come like kind of break it down to kindness and whatnot i yeah, think that's a ugandan a ugandan thing yeah so are you saying um kenyan guy no um, i did not say because <laughs> you see all of um nairobi is in king 
but what okay. I'm what I'm what but, I'm saying, but people are, are, go, are going about their business honestly um, and and real fast. Nobody yeah, is yeah, stopping yeah. say, "Oh, good morning. <laughs> How are you?" Oh, I mean, even when you try to 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 say, "Oh, guys, excuse me, can I?" But is that, you know, they, they'll just keep going. John, oh, is that from the general thing that you've said is that you know we have a sense of community, and yet I honestly do not feel like that's something that a lot of people say about Africa. Mm-hmm. Or, or if we are going by Uganda, yeah, maybe they'll say we are the happiest <laughs> country in East Africa or whatever. But I mean, going by what we see in the media and what not, Africa is. Like the worst place. We are diseased. The, the diseases come from here. <laughs> the corruption. We are poor. We are but corrupt. Maybe, maybe we, we are dealing with our we diseases have people as a who stay long in Maybe power. we are dealing we with our diseases to be and, and we say these things even about ourselves. It's because of the yeah? media. Like I've not been to China. I've not been to India. Mm? But the way I think about India and that thinking being shaped by the media, I think they spit. I think it is the dirtiest <laughs> place. I think that, uh, let me see, I'm trying to think of, 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 of the dirtiest place in Uganda and I'm like, no, <clears throat> India beats that. That's because of the media. I don't know if but you remember no, that. But that's that, because for you, you're in Uganda and you, you're, you're I, I, being And that's able the same thing with, with what the media is showing about Africa. Mm-hmm. But to Africa the white country, but yeah, anyway, yeah, when we talk about racial identity or, or, or it was an African identity as, as as a race or anything, for me, besides the obvious, you mm. know, abundance of melanin, I honestly abundance. feel that yeah, we do have <laughs> <an> abundance. <laughs> of course, there's a couple of people who didn't get as much, and as some people others, are trying to to and, suppress it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> but uh, aside from the obvious uh, color. I feel that the only identity there is uh, for Africans is the diversity of ethnicity, cultures. you know, which, which, yeah, cultures, which also follows the diversity of like languages and bringing in all the differences. When do people actually have to think about, you know, I, I think, I think their Africa identity and, as African. And, and, and the African continent, um, it's kind of unfortunate because you have a situation where the light has shown too much on our problems to mm-hmm. the extent that we don't celebrate the gift that we have. Mm-hmm. Um, I've been talking a lot about DRC, but I think it's a very gifted <laughs> I'm country. I'm curious to know why. Where you were will you find out. Week? It's a very gifted <laughs> country. It's, 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 it's amazing how gifted the country is. Yeah. Um, yeah. No, no, no wait, uh, it's a very gifted country. And, in a way. And, 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 sure and in, in, in this, in this, in this uh, continent, we have... A hot desert we have a cold desert we have mountains we have like this continent is just too gifted mm-hmm. then when you just talk about like what john is saying about um the culture you just think about uganda over 40 tribes mm-hmm. um and, and for just to to go to all the different parts of africa all the different countries i don't know how many like tribes we would what we would, we would get it's like a puzzle of different things put together. Anyhow, the question for me is um, not so much oh, uh, how, how African are we or, or do we recognize how African we are and do we celebrate that or what does it mean? For me, because people my age are now becoming you know, parents, I, I tend to think about lots of things uh, beyond what they mean to, to me, to us, but what perceptions and thoughts we're going to propagate to the next generation. So for me, that's the issue with um, how it, how, how we how feel, we how we talk to okay. ourselves. Uh, earlier on, I asked um, and if, we are, if we are aware of this identity mm. and what We're not. Yeah, no, we, are. we are not. Yeah. Do you feel like it's something, even even here in Africa where we are, you know, it's, not, it's probably not something that you have to think about. Do you feel like it's something that we should you know, maybe teach our children. We to have to. We have to. But teach but our children. What are you going to, to teach your children? We have to because especially no, Joanne, you're saying are, if you're not you deliberate say, about yes, understanding Joanne, who you you're are. saying that our age is giving birth right now. Okay. Hmm? Like, you, you look really nice. The hoodie is cool and. Thank you. But is this our culture? Is Chitenge African but culture? There's nothing That's like it. African culture. Let's okay, cool, 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 cool. But no, Africa is okay, not a it's not a country. <laughs> We're not okay. one, one okay, particular I'm sorry, people. I'm sorry. So, no. Okay, so is this Ugandan? Chitenge is not even Ugandan. Yesterday on the BBC, so they were they, showing that Chitenge also actually Ugandan comes culture. from Netherlands. Okay, anyway. <gasps> and then we just called, no, as in like, okay. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, sport. As, okay, like the trade. Don't you remember the trade routes and how yes, it would yes, move around yes. and go mm-hmm. up to the, to Europe. So mm-hmm. they'll just keep bringing fabric, drop it um around the Gold Coast, 
drop it um, Gabon, drop it um, Essie, then comes to East Africa. So in each of these different drop-offs, there are different names. There's Ankara for mm. there's some name in South Africa, and then come to East Africa, Chitenge. Now, you think things like that, it's like it's a global village. Mm -hmm. The culture is being formed and it's different. It is a bit of the things that we like, and many of which is also being demonized from our old African, from Demon, our old home Particularly culture. because and you then, have said uh -huh. it's a global community mm -hmm. that we live in. I feel like that is why it's important that we tell our children. What are we going and to know tell like, that we no, don't even not know? Exactly, which is why this conversation right now yeah. is important. Do you ever wake up and think... Um, and have to and, think you know, about when, it. When, when, when you choose things in your everyday do you think of part what of africanness there part of, to part of, I, part of uh, identity really may not even be so much as africanness but even yeah. where you come from as a as a muganda as whatnot your history all those things are those things that we you know we want to tell our children okay i i think there might be things that we want to tell our children but we have to be very honest that right now there are so many other places that are informing our tastes. Yes, so many, and, yes. and, and it's unfortunately it's not home that is informing our tastes. For example, like Joanne, what food are you going to cook when you get married? What 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 kind of breakfast? Sorry, what kind of lunch? I will make the same food Luombo. that I'm making now. No, uh -huh. I make rice. I eat uh, potatoes. Uh -huh. I eat potato chicken. wages. Eh? No way. No, right. not okay, wages. But, okay what, what I'm trying to say is that <laughs> at this point, especially for this age group, yeah, which is really the next, who are the next parents, because of all the things that are informing us, which are usually not our own culture. It's like we are. You're whatever making we're my point for me. Yeah, and and, and because I'm there's that, so okay, many so influences. Then we have to be very intentional. Have to be intentional. Yes. What about and now so, okay. understanding? So we've come to the same point. So now, where are we going to get this information from? And is the it going to be? It's is the information. The information. It's forced. It's like okay, Yvonne, you must go and cook turkey and what dinner. But we don't like it. So you know what? Why don't you? I don't. It's, I don't no, enjoy it. Yvonne, Yvonne, you don't have to cook. You don't have to cook much to to, to say this is your no, okay. Africanness or, okay, or yes, heritage I don't or know, whatever. But then, guess what? I also do not want to wear a chitenge. I also you do don't not want to. And you don't have to. So guess what? All the things that I want that I like are going to be white. <laughs> oh western, very God. western yeah western and that, go that there. brings me to that uh -huh. question of i hope that doesn't mean that because you have you have a preference towards you know um mm. the values of, of white people and whatnot and things like that then means that you shouldn't be aware of your own heritage or your own identity your own yeah. individuality and stuff like that but going back to the question yes why do black people africa and Ugandans, you know, respond to whiteness as supreme, as good, as... I think, eh, and I definitely have to bring in the media, that so long as certain things keep being shown over the media, the tendency for the population is to think that maybe that's the way we should go, or that's the thing that we are going to adopt. Whether you like it or not, you might actually lean towards that. Towards and you're not no. able to inform yourself on, on your, what it actually is. It's going is. to be so what, swimming against the all, tide. I feel that what, what, what you're saying, yeah, media is carrying stories now. There was media carrying stories back then. But for me, why I, I, I feel that we continue to, to identify white as superior and their ways as, as better and superior and everything is the lack of our own story having been told. Okay, but Maybe then, the story, you know how cavemen feel... wrote on the caves and everything, yeah. and then um, our ancestors picked up on their stories that way. The people who came up to that maybe did document their story somewhere, or they didn't. The point is we Do can't you feel find like it. That, that kind of also informs the way we identify ourselves. Yeah. Be uh, in the sense of, I mean, if you don't think that this melanin is, is, is a good thing yeah to the point of <laughs> you know having to suppress it <laughs> you want or to, maybe if it's too much or it's like you do just you feel like a little less of it. it it um that attitude towards other races or white race or whatever yes informs how we we identify ourselves as Africans. Of course, everyone wants what's but, best or what's perceived as best. But I, I, I strongly think that... And you don't realize for, for, that you have 
you know you, you don't have you don't have any good things about your own but identity if those good celebrate. things are not being celebrated how then do we also embrace them because what we're talking you about that you start you, you know by celebrating my, yeah, no, but, by now, but we're talking about macro like say on ugandan level that we would like um our values to be to be the ones that we write we would like um all the ones that we pass on but then you have a situation where it's not our values that we are on a daily that we are practicing why aren't we doing that it's because as it, for me this is my answer mm-hmm. i don't think it's something that's being celebrated i don't think our culture is being like we are why aren't we why aren't we celebrating our culture okay our values and things like that do we, is it because we actually think these things are bad so what's our culture why aren't we we'll have so many cultures to celebrate, whatever culture honestly. it is <laughs> if you we even know so you want to i guess okay, celebrate fine, fine. Your, your i didn't want to say it, but i guess we think <laughs> that there's a better one 